Putting the colors down and see what matches up, um, you know, I'm kind of good with color at this point when it comes to like how to, you know, uh, put it into a uh, composition. But sometimes I gotta go back and edit it because it you don't know, work. But for the most part, it's just you know, the colors just has to like feed off of the actual um, figures, you know, itself, you know. I had to use the black paint. Because uh, I was secretly um, let into like a uh, facility to use their space because I had a painting uh, for a show that was too large for the house I was painting at. So they let, my friends let me in there while the staff was away. And the best way for me to make shadows and all these other things is to put black paint on the background and just go in there with some color and try the best I can do. And it, and it stuck. And, um, and it kind of came into play later on because I had like a studio that was, uh, that had like a little mold problem. So if I use black paint on any of the paintings, it will mold out like oil paint. So I have to use acrylic paint to make sure I can go ahead and knock these things out fast so I won't get any mold on them. So that's where the black paintings, paintings became like a thing for me. So I just kept it going. And you know, I have over like 50, probably 50 plus works, I guess since 2017. What I was trying to go in, in here and do is uh, basically just use that black background as like a good coat, a good base, you know, compared to like using like white gesso and trying to just layer it out and figure it out. So it's like a technique, I just put the black paint down first. And if you're really good at, you know, drawing, you can be able to, you know, outline everything. That's why I have like everything in white lines. And then I just go ahead and, you know, pick what colors I need to put in there. It's only like a three or four part method, you know? There's not too much shading going on in it. Sometimes, you know, it, it sticks in people's mind and be like, okay, what was that all about? And then some people be like, oh, I totally get that, but what was that extra part, you know? So. You know, that's why it's always good to add, like, you know, an extra layer on top of it, you know. Sometimes the colors will probably, like, you know, come to somebody's mind and be like, oh, this reminds me of Hulk Hogan, you know, red and yellow, you never know. <laughs> but it's just all about, for me, putting the colors down and see what matches up. And, the, and I kind of use the idea of, like, the black as a way to boost up more, um, like, a neon hues and stuff like that. cybernetic part is mostly pertains to the um, websites and the um, open tabs and the different um, things we experience while we're online browsing um, content and information and um, the Trojan horse virus. Some deals with like very heavy topics like um, Black Lives Matter, sickle cell, I think humor kind of like uh, takes a little bit of the venom out of the content a little bit. So sometimes it conveys um, you know emotions from people. Sometimes it's just like, oh, that was pretty funny, and then they leave out, you know. 